might think we're making healthy choices when we stock up our fridge and pantry. But Amanda, so you found out there are <laughs> some hidden toxins in a lot of what we eat, Yeah, right? that's right. And Jacqueline Jones of Soul Food Collective Kitchen took a look at my food situation. Uh-oh. So you're gonna go through my fridge and through my pantry, so please take it easy on me. I will. And this is something you do with clients to get them started on a, you know, a healthy path looking for whole foods looking at ingredients because many times we go to the grocery store pick something off the shelf and we're mm -hmm. not really looking at what's in it so exactly and <laughs> the key to success and staying healthy is truly having an organized refrigerator pantry and have things in it that are healthy go-to's go-to's okay yes okay all right let's do it <laughs> Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it oh, would be. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So we have some cauliflower here. That's great. I'm gonna bring this out for, you know, purposes okay. of showing what you can do with this. And some broccoli, that's okay. fantastic. I love that. Okay. Some blueberries, perfect. I love that you have them ready to go. That's okay. awesome. Okay. But what I do see here, we have some of this syrup. I'm not even gonna call it maple syrup. We it's just not, have some. It's just syrup. Some I mean, syrup. It, it just says syrup on the Just some syrup. Yeah. So let's grab that. Okay. I'm going to show you some great substitutes. Let's grab that. Okay. Your Parmesan. Let's, I want to read the label on those pickles. pickles. And then it's really not that bad. Um, I just want to see here your sweet relish. Um, I just want to point out that the second ingredient here is high fructose corn syrup. In the relish. In the relish. Okay. And then you see down here that it's colored with um, yellow dye number five okay. and also blue dye. Blue These dye. are things that are cancer causing that we do not want in our refrigerator. Okay. There are healthier alternatives that just have the, you know, vinegar with the, you know, pickles, cucumber, it's more like whatever. Like it doesn't have the, all the additives in it. Right. Okay. So when you're at the grocery store, read the label. Okay. You do not want to bring that into the house. Okay. And then I do see you have some milk here. Yeah. Um, congrats on having the oat milk creamer. I love that. I, I love like, that. Yeah, I do love my oat milk creamer. Yes, really like that's it. really good. Okay. And then you have your 2% organic. At mm -hmm. least it's organic. Mm -hmm. But, you know, switching over to like an almond milk or an oat milk, there's a brand called Milk, M-A-L-K, just three simple ingredients. That's what we're looking for. A lot of these milks here have a lot of oil in them. Okay. That's what makes them creamy. Okay. So um, you can get um, plant-based milks that just have simple ingredients, no oil, and that's that's our goal. That's what we want to look okay. for. All right. All right. The fridge. All right. Okay. Okay, not bad. I see a few things here that I like already. You have yeah. your apple cider vinegar and your olive oil. Let's see. Oh, and your pink Himalayan salt. Yes. Love that. I actually really like it. It's very good. Yeah, it's like, really good. You know, it has 87 trace minerals, so it's okay. really, really good for you. Okay. But here I see a big tub of peanut butter. A big one. A big one. Yeah. Um, and if you look here... It has uh, rapeseed and soybean oil. Mm -hmm. It also has fully hydrogenated vegetable oils. Okay. Like, not good. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't have to be that way. Okay. And then I see you have some instant brown rice. I At do. least it's not the boil in a bag. No, and I have quinoa too. You have quinoa. That's great. That's great. <laughs> that's that's what we want. That's okay. what we're aiming for. Okay. And I just want to see here, we have some chocolate chips. Okay, okay, we're, I'm gonna grab this white sugar and show you a really great substitute and talk about why you need to substitute this. Okay. And I'm also gonna grab, I'm gonna have you grab, hold these, grab your chips, and I'm gonna take your rolled oats. Okay. And you might think these are healthy, but yeah. we're gonna talk a little bit about why just regular oats are not. Okay, all right. All let's, right. Let's go uh, dissect them. Let's go dissect. <laughs> Here it is. Comparing. We are going to do some comparing. This is organic, creamy peanut butter, dry, roasted, organic peanuts and sea salt. And that that's is it. all that's in this, and that is all you need. You don't okay. need. You don't extras. need all the extra okay. stuff. Exactly. Right. So we got them from the same store. <laughs> <laughs> that's about all. Though. You got to make smart choices. <laughs> yeah. So with the oats, oats are really, really good for you. Excellent for heart health. Excellent mm -hmm. to lower cholesterol. Oats are very heavily sprayed. It's mm -hmm. one of those plants that is just crops that is just very, very heavily sprayed. Okay. So my only thing with that, just sure swap it out with organic okay. because if it's organic, it's automatically non-GMO. Okay. So it right. cannot be genetically I'm modified. Close, then. You're close. Okay. You're there. You're almost there. <laughs> okay. 
The syrup. The bad guy. I just want you to read the first two ingredients. Corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup, because exactly. corn syrup wasn't enough. Exactly. I some high fructose corn syrup in there too. Just do um, an organic maple syrup. Okay. That's all you have to do. All Just right. swap, swap that, that out. out. Yep. Okay. Um, you have soy sauce here. Yes. Uh, soy sauce, I would swap out for liquid aminos. This basically, it's a different process. So it's still soybeans, mm -hmm. but it's a what they do with the soybeans to skim off the top to get the amino acids. Mm -hmm. in, Amino acids are the building blocks of protein, mm -hmm. and this has 16 of them. Okay. So this is the healthier option, an even healthier option would be coconut aminos mm -hmm. because it's half the sodium. The, the sodium, yeah. Right, right. Okay. So out with the soy sauce, in with the coconut or liquid Amino. aminos. All right, okay. And then quinoa, you mm -hmm. have this in your pantry, I'm yeah. so proud. So, you know, maybe swipe out the um, white rice for the quinoa because this mm -hmm. does have, you know, a lot of protein, protein. in it, really good for you. Mm -hmm. For sugar, mm -hmm. I would substitute coconut coconut sugar. This will destroy your gut health. Mm -hmm. This won't. It's low glycemic. It does not destroy your gut health. It is a better substitute than okay. anything else, than maple syrup, anything. So with that, I would put some coconut sugar with your old-fashioned oats mm -hmm. and a little bit of tahini okay. for breakfast and some healthy chocolate chips okay. compared to what you were using. These are dairy-free. These are <laughs> vegan. They're really good for okay. you. Okay. And, and my blueberries. And your blueberries. blueberries. Yes, we can't I forget love that. In my oh, these are okay. so good. So many antioxidants here. You want those. Okay. And then for your chips, I know these are wonderful, and you know your daughter really loves yeah. those. But these can be really good. These chia and quinoa chips. Okay. And then make you know a little salsa with it, or some guacamole, or something, mm -hmm. and make it super healthy. Okay. Yeah. The pickles is a thing. Speaking of my daughter, so you pulled my pickles out, and yeah. I wasn't really sure why you pulled the pickles out. Okay. What am I looking for in pickles? So when you read the label, actually they just switched. They used to use yellow dye in this, but mm -hmm. they're now using turmeric. But okay. you see this right here? Polysorbate 80. Mm -hmm. No one wants to eat that. That doesn't sound like it's it real doesn't. Food, right? No, it's not fun. So you can, in the refrigerated section, just get the cucumbers with vinegar, and then they have the spices in there, mm -hmm. and it's the just all natural. Them. Yeah. Okay. And just get the healthier version. So this is why it's so important to read labels because you think of something so simple as a pickle. Mm -hmm. What could be in there? Mm -hmm. And there's stuff there's there. Stuff in it's it. hidden, and it's it is in there. And shop the perimeter. And when it sh shop the perimeter, because Whole Foods is the goal, right? Mm -hmm. But if you do go into, you know, the canned and boxed goods, dry goods, get your lentils that we talk about all the yeah. time. You know, red lentil pasta. If you're gonna do pasta, low glycemic, get the red lentil pasta. Get your beans. Mm -hmm. You know, all of your really great beans that are full of protein. You know, garb. I always have. I usually have garbanzo beans. Yeah. yeah. I always have this, so mm -hmm. I could with lemon, so I could always make a hummus, and then you have your your veggies that you can dip in it for a really good snack all right so i have grocery list for all of you because okay. Jacqueline all says right. you want to go in with a plan as she said shop the perimeter so oh. here you go i much. asked her i said you know Jacqueline, we're, we're looking at these labels is there one thing that you find on a label and you're like big no-no and she said dyes yeah she said to really look for dyes mm. um just not good for you especially for kids like the red dye 40 mm -hmm. and all of that yeah. yeah and it is banned in some countries mm -hmm. some, really? some have wow. warning labels you know so she said to really look for that and try to keep it with five ingredients or less okay and if you can't pronounce it yeah I was gonna say that most of the time so. you can't pronounce what's there so yeah. Jacqueline for quinoa. yeah Jack was good Jacqueline <laughs> if you're watching I went vegan all last week he did all last he week. said it felt great I did have some goat cheese on the show but other than that all mm -hmm. week I made some uh, a chickpea curry uh -huh. this weekend oh, also uh, a hummus uh, vegan wrap yum uh, then we did um, eggplant steak which we use coconut you steak. talked about Co that. coconut yes. amino yeah so it was great so Jacqueline I know you're watching <laughs> I think you would be proud yes yeah. and another thing with the oils vegetable oil is a big one uh, not don't cook with that it's not good for you like the unhealthy fat but avocado oil yeah. and olive oil are just better choices and look so look for vegetable oil in your ingredient list too because it's in a lot of food which it's I didn't so realize. much and yep. foods and trying to eat healthier so. we're, we're doing our best well thanks right. <laughs> we're, we're trying to point you <laughs> in the right direction right all right yeah